apart from this uh, this performance insights uh, there is another two another uh, using this cloudwatch and enhanced monitoring you can do a lot of stuffs uh, cloudwatch and enhanced monitoring is still relevant um, you know that cloud you know so I'll, I'll go to there um, cloud edge is automatically available but I don't think so enhanced monitoring is configured so I'll uh, go to modify yeah I remember this enhanced monitoring uh, granularity you can see that you know I can put from one seconds uh, up to the 60 seconds um, now uh, you know there is a striking there is a difference in between um, how this cloud uh, cloud watch works and how does enhanced monitoring works now you know that cloud watch mostly uh, the metrics available there are so many metrics the CPU level apart from the RAM there is network level disk level swap usage latency uh, so many things uh, but the difference is there uh, mostly it is done the, uh, available from the hypervisor level so that means um, they are exposed by the underlying host and not by the VM okay and uh, in contrary uh, enhanced monitoring is kind of a feature uh, that the enables user to collect uh, metrics from the operating system that that is DB level operating systems and uh, so you can get the more level of things like you know you some of the waste processes you can get up things from the um, enhanced monitoring and uh, monitoring role uh, you can choose uh, you can choose this RDS monitoring role and uh, and you can choose the granularity as I said the granularity you can choose from 1 seconds to 60 seconds but just for the sake of things I am putting this 60 seconds and I am modifying the TV right now so I'll go to the login events you can see that you know there are logs is coming and uh, if I'll go to the monitoring so you can see that a lots of things CPU DB connection free storage space memory um, IOPS some of the stuff from coming from and uh, right latency swap everything is coming um, so I'll go for the uh, this is a cloud watch level and this is for the enhanced monitoring uh, you can see that enhanced monitoring so let me run something of the same th uh, in the my so I'll get something okay and uh, let me sum something else uh, let me run some of the other steps uh, okay I'll see the waste process list there is a you can see that this is the great things about a uh, uh, waste process list uh, you can actually what is waste process is running and what is the percentage of things but I am trying to get something from the enhanced monitoring we'll set for um, yeah I'll get it something from the enhanced monitoring now yeah I can get something like uh, the free memory active memory CPUs and everything so another there is a good things about that uh, uh, another thing I'm going to discuss uh, using this CloudWatch logs we can get something um, a dashboard without uh, performance insights uh, using a utility called PG Badger so I'm going to uh, show you how we can do that so to show you this uh, the PG Badger utility uh, PG Badger da repository dashboard at the beginning I have to do uh, some of the parameter change uh, default parameter change you know that uh, my database is currently if I go to the configurations is having the default Postgres parameter group so you can I can change the default parameter groups for that I have to create a def uh, custom one to do that uh, I'll go to the parameter group create parameters it's is postgres 12 i'll put a uh, on like you know non default postgres equal 12 okay i'll copy these things 
okay now i have to modify my db with uh, parameter groups continue apply immediately now the good thing is that if i'll see this the configuration uh, tab currently it is applying the non-default parameter groups after that it will go for a stage called uh, reboot pending reboot so i have to reboot so it will enable then i'll be showing you that what are the parameters i have uh, i am going to put just for this pg badger repository this is something not required if you are doing for the performance insights and uh, what i am going to do that you know i'll be uh, downloading some of the logs still applying this info is modif uh, modifying for the, uh, we have to install some of the pg badger steps uh, the instruction is given in the, in the github repository um, so what i'm gonna do that uh, most of that installation stuffs so i have to install the pg badger uh, downloader from the github and then do this stuffs so for that i'll be doing in a ec2 machine so i logged into these things uh, to do that i have to i'm i'll be uh, first i'll be using the git clone so i have to in install the git I'll use a git clone command to clone these things here now so it's asking for Perl. i believe i need to install some thing called Perl devil now i run the same thing done next thing is okay done so which pg yes so pg ledger is now installed let me do the rest of the stuffs and i believe my database is a bit modified so i'll go to the rds so i'll go to the configurations it's needed for reboot so reboot it's rebooting so once it is reboot i am going to change the some of the parameters okay it's available now if i go to the configurations i can see non-default postgres sql 12 is there okay so edit parameters now i'll go to the list first of the the lock checkpoints uh, lock checkpoints is already true it's already one that's good rest is the lock connections okay, let me put it as a one auto vacuum min durations okay so the my plan is that um, um you know you should do that you know because you are changing some of the default value um from to into non-default value so use some different parameter groups and once it's done you can so you can roll back or just note down the what are the value we are going to change you are changing so anything suits to you and then log error verbosity as a default log min statement log min statement is zero and the last not the list rds from auto vacuum level so putting as a log there are some errors um this saying that you know this cannot be modified because you can't be applied to a DVC instance. Uh, yeah, it's done. So sometimes it gets error. Let me do one thing, you know, let me reboot once again. I know some of the stuffs are, uh, most of the things are dynamic, but it's still in the modifying stage. So the purpose I'm, uh, what I'm going to do that, you know, some of the um, logs say, I'll run some query and uh, we'll get some logs and uh, i'll try to view what's there inside and we'll get some kind of and then we'll see the logs using this pg badger so let me run some query so that you know it's face some logs at least see here if i'll see some kind of better logs which i'm going to download 
what are the lock events uh, so this is the latest one see the view yes you can see this thing the there is some kind of thing so this logs maybe i am going to download it this is the command uh, to download the logs i am going to download in my ec2 machine uh, this is the db instance identifier this is for db1 for me and this is the log file names and i am going to put everything in call error log.txt uh, to run these things uh, ec2 machine i have to change some parameters uh, some uh, grant to my ec2 machine so that it can run so this is my machine this is my machine and uh, okay i have to put a region okay rest east one good my error log the this is come here so now i am going to run it the pg badger repository and uh, take some steps now if you can see these things uh, for pg badger uh, there are a lot of options are available so a lot of options are available but i will be using some easier options so i got the html file so i am going to now transfer the html to my local machine well when i opening these things in the google chrome uh you can see this this is the number of queries uh the 11 number of queries 11 number of queues 64 614 number of queries total query durations so if i'll drill down a little bit about um this is the global traffic sql traffic this is the sql traffic there are lots of informations select traffic what is the time select traffic is high then the right traffic okay uh, let me put something about uh, sessions simultaneous sessions there is nothing okay uh, vacuum di vacuum distributions yes there was two vacuums analyze parse table 100 percent vacuum parse table 100 percent and then the locks there's no locks queries queries by type there are 600 total table read queries select some queries some uh, query types is less than two percent uh, test dbc database queries per user so you can say the table test dba total what is the table level queries per host queries by applications so there are a lot of informations here um, top queries this is the top queries uh, you can see the queries details everything is there this is the slowest individual queries um, some full table scan where it is happening so uh, what is this time it is taken so you can get a hell of our information from these things okay so this is the another way of uh, uh, doing you know getting this your slow query your performance details from a uh, database in PostgreSQLs from a given point of view so another thing is that you need to uh, run this you have to configure this pg badger repository you have to run this thing then download the file and, and the open the file in the um, your browser uh, this is something also beneficial if something you need to uh, um, send these things to a support okay